You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. What's up, punters, dribblers? Dribbler hotline. It's the Dribbler hotline. Uh, we don't have time to fit it into the podcast on a Monday these days, so we're just doing a little Tuesday fucking pound your ears with a bit of Dribbler hotline. Short, sharp, to the point. Nailed it, Tom. Absolutely nailed it. Tuesdays is for dribbling. It's as simple as that. Yep. I've always felt that deep in my loins, Thomas. Yep. The Tuesday, perfect day for a dribble. Yep. And that's what we bring you. Yep. Right here, right now, Dave. Pekarawa. Let's go. Uh, g'day, boys. Uh, hello, punters and dribblers. Um, just wanted to chime in uh, fresh off the uh, foreskin skin graft chat. Mm. Um, yeah. Done a bit of dioring. Um, I actually used to work um, for New South Wales Tissue Bank. So I used to be part of the team that would come in after the organ donation team and we would collect uh, eyes, uh, bones, which are then used for transplant, orthopedic surgery, but also skin. We used to use a electric cheese grater like device and take strips of skin off deceased donors. And then when we process them back in the lab, they then get put through a machine that turns them into a, a fishnet like uh, material. Oh which then God. get processed and sent off to burns victims. Um, can confirm, probably not going to get a football field out of a, uh, a foreskin. Um, however, <laughs> I can't say that with complete confidence, as I am without. Well, um, we'll but see yeah, I just thought I'd uh, share that with you. Um, love the pod. Uh, be soon. Look, great to hear that a guy, the skin tissue ilk, uh, the skin tissue bank, reaches out. But we're no closer to an answer. To well, that. mate, you come at us, you, you start. You can't talk foreskins if you don't have a foreskin. And I'm telling you, you could grow at least a football field off of one forty, and that's what the internet told us, wasn't it? Listen, I trust the internet with all my heart and all yeah. my soul, implicitly, and especially when Dave's at the helm. I'm in team. I'm in team foreskin. Yeah, and that's all encompassing, dude. It includes owning one. It includes yeah. believing. That you can grow a football field worth of skin out of one single four. I didn't want it to take a turn necessarily to team fourie, team no fourie, but it has, and we're here, <laughs> and I'm team fourie, baby. Yeah, having 100%. one and growing it. Listen, and if you don't have one, you won't know. Uh, look, I'm not, I'm not here to rattle the cage. No, but the numbers are damning for team no foreskin. Yeah, you're losing troops. You're at also a greater knots. You're also. What you don't have in foreskin, you also lose in sensitivity yep. of the knob, just yep. so you know. Can you just Google, Dave? I'll give you an example. Percentage of sensitivity lost sans foreskin. I'll give you an example. Without a foreskin, you basically have the, the taste of a Tom Birmingham because smell has such a big fucking okay, role confused. to play. I was like, wait, wait a minute. What am I doing? I didn't, I didn't agree to this. But you're right. Yes. So, so for for less, you don't realise you have a bad sense of taste. You just have a bad sense, sense of, of taste. taste, and you don't know you do. That's me, like you. That's me with no smell. So no forey. You don't realise how dead your fucking dick is. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, you like, got you dead think dick. About, you think about when your forey is back and it like, and you you're not hard, dick. and it touches something you're like, ooh, you got dead dick. You know what I mean? Like my my dick's. Like the the knob is a is a nice sensitive soul. It's a sensitive new age dong. Yeah, it, yeah. I've got a yes sensitive new age penis. Um, the cries and rom coms. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, likes exactly. to be held. Likes to be held. Loves to be held. <laughs> Has to be held. Uh, what is, did you get anything there on sensitivity loss? Yeah. Dave? So Speaking of a man with a dead penis, it's <laughs> working fine for me so far. It says overall uncircumcised <laughs> men reported between zero point two points and 0.4 points higher sensitivity and sexual pleasure uh, when the when the penis's head was stroked during arousal <laughs> circumcised men. Hold on a second. So you're saying that this says that, that you're more, more sensitive. sensitive. But do you think that that is just what guys without foreskins would say? Because obviously if you're asking them... No, no, no. Lie. This is uncircumcised no, no, no. men reported higher sensitivity and sexual uncircumcised. pleasure. Oh, uncircumcised. Compared well, this makes sense. Men. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying like uncircumcised and I was like, well, this sounds like guys that are, you know, upset. You got confused. Their, their four has been chucked in the bin when they were fucking <laughs> six months old. Or planted under a tree. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, there are multiple scientific studies here that prove that. 
Can you, you and, and people are like, oh, it's dirtier. Uh, yeah, if you don't wash it, you <laughs> sick fuck. Have a shower. Yeah, what are we yeah, talking about? Yeah, yeah. If you if you go without fucking showers for weeks at a time, you're gonna be dirty. <laughs> yeah, your whole body. Yeah, will your whole go. body will actually. And Jesus Christ! Imagine your bum hole. Fucking hell, get yeah. some. Yeah, yeah. If you want to yeah. talk about problems? I'd start there. Start with your asshole, boys and girls. Anyway, right. I think we solved that. I think so. Team Fourie. Also, just quickly on that skin tissue thing, it was interesting how they said they like. They make it like uh, fishnet. Yes. And like, then would lay it on burns victims. It's fucking crazy how they can do that. Skin's wild. Funnily enough, speaking of burns, Zoe burnt her fucking hands. I, I mean, I don't think she needs skin grafts or anything like that, but they had to scrape off all their fucking blisters. It was really fucking gross. I hate that. Yeah. I got to go see it today, so that's exciting. Look at me making it about myself. Even though uh, my Oh, well, it's always, it's always just around the corner. <laughs> hey, boys, what's going on? Still reeling from that devastating test loss over the weekend. I, I still can't believe we capitulated that badly. But one thing I was thinking about, apart from Jadeja being an absolute gun cricketer, um, that that thing that he does when he scores a 50 with his bat, that sword swinging thing, is, is that the magooest thing an athlete has ever done on any world stage it, 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 it i don't know what's your take on it i don't know what it is but as good as he is that's that's just the most magoo thing i've ever seen anyway no, geez, it, boys, later. it reminds me of and i don't remember i'm not a, like a huge gamer but i don't know if it was tekken or final fantasy or there was like a sword fighting game where this guy would fucking do that it reminds me of and i don't want to offend anyone here but i'm i'm just going to play it as i see it yep uh, it, it reminds me. It reminds me of, you know, fire twirlers and lights and people that get yeah. into their lightsaber work. Yeah, you know, and like I get that you're a big Star Wars guy and shit like that or girl, but I don't know if you need to get like a, a lightsaber replica, which clearly isn't a replica. It's just a light. Yeah, well, it's a light. And, so you can't make a. I mean, and try and pretend that you're Obi Wan because. Yeah. He's a fucking character. Yeah. And this you're not is, him. It's You know what I mean? It's nah, got, it's it's got fire much. twirling in it, bro. It's, it's in that fire world. twirling. You may as well set your bat on fire and spin it around. I'd actually think that would be cooler. Lean into the fire twirling. Oh, he takes it oh, out of the sheath. Out of the sheath. Oh, nah, yeah. Dude. Nah. I'd never seen him unsheath it before. Oh, God. To Deja. Okay. Oh, so, so he, he's yeah. a big sword guy. Oh, he's a, dude, no, it's not, being a sword guy is not cool. It no, looks cool not. when he's doing it with a sword, in fairness. But being a sword it guy... It looks cooler. It doesn't look cool. No, because it's like, we don't use swords, right? So, like, modern sword play, not that cool. Like, it, it, does he go LARPing on the weekend, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's in that world. And, obviously, Jadeja has had his way with us. Oh, absolutely has. And, and so, there's maybe there's a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. Yes. But I still don't think... And this is on the public record that I've ever been pro sword. No, <laughs> it is on the public record. If it wasn't, it is now. <laughs> no, you've never been pro sword, Eddie. One of the things that drew me to you actually early on in our friendship was <laughs> was your staunch anti sword fucking yeah. you know position. I yeah. really appreciate. Yeah, I'm, it. I'm anti sword and yeah. always have been. Uh, absolutely, and I'm with you. We here are anti sword at Hello Sport. We are. And That's if you're a sword change, yeah. guy or girl, um, unfortunately, we can't be friends. So No, I did have to denounce uh, sword play in its totality uh, because obviously I do have a history of fencing, but I did have to <laughs> denounce it uh, in front of Eddie uh, yes. before he agreed to do the podcast. He's moved on. I have. I've moved on. Shout out to Roland Von Zopfer. We do miss you. I <laughs> uh, hope you're still kicking or, or swing. I don't know, sorting. Uh, but you won't see me down at the uh, Southern Highlands fencing joint ever again I'm you've done. moved on I'm, I'm, i've moved on yeah you're a better man yep fuck your deja respectfully fuck him and fuck van Zomp as well. hey, no 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 hey <laughs> whoa that roland was a father figure to me every once a week for about an hour in the fucking you know whatever that again the highlands fencing fucking at the dojo yeah well no dojo was judo which also i was pretty good at got the local paper <laughs> Mate, I was in the local paper for not scoring a goal in under six soccer, so let's not get carried for away. For not scoring a goal? 
Like, yeah, they, like there was an article about how a goal eludes us, basically. Your team? Yeah. You couldn't... What a mean thing to do to a bunch of six-year-olds. <laughs> no, because it was improvement or whatever, you know? I don't understand. How is there improvement I'll if you try don't find it. I'll try find it. And get, and but I'll it was a positive? You. It was framed as a positive, but I don't think it was... Well, no, it definitely wasn't. wasn't. I'll, try, I'll try and find my one in the local barrel paper. I think mum and we'll get, a, we'll, get a, we'll get our clippings together. Yeah. We'll get our clippings Let's together. Get some clippings together. Sorry, Dave. Let's move on. Hey, boys. The drive by Dribbler here. Just listening to podcast about Tom not looking after the car, Redzo, and it's just pushed me over the line. <laughs> Mate, what do you do? What do you bring to your relationship? <laughs> you don't look after the car. I know, I don't. There was a podcast that you were talking about. One of your kids was sick, and you were going, Stephanie! <laughs> and then she came in and you just walked off to another room and let her deal with it. I don't remember that, but Mate, I probably have. I don't know what she sees in you. No, Great question. No, it is a good question. Uh, I don't know. Eddie, can you try and make him a bit better? Cheers, boys. Look, it's probably a question for Steph specifically who we can't get on the phone. I mean, we could get her on the phone. Listen, I think, listen I think he makes a reasonable point in that yeah. you need to start playing a bit more of a role. Mm. Now, historically, the man has looked after the car. That doesn't need to be the case, punters and dribblers. We're trying to change gender roles, you know what but I mean? But you need to pick up the slack in other areas if that's the case. And I just don't know if you... If, I don't know if you are. No. That's the concern of the punter and the dribbler. I'm calling Steph. Let's see what she says. Steph, hey. Stephanie, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, you're on the podcast right now, just so you know, so don't say anything fucked up. Okay. Um, a dribbler has just called through asking what it is that you actually see in me. Given that I don't even know how to do the car, Rego. I mean, <laughs> what does he do? Does he do anything? Does he do anything well? What's he in charge of? What's he what? What's he in charge of? <laughs> I don't know. Making me laugh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cute. That's a nice answer. It's, it's also embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe as well. well uh, she yeah, said maybe. Yeah. I'm in charge of making her laugh maybe. <laughs> um, yeah. That's keeping, really good. Keeping it light. You keeping know? it light whilst being heavy physically. <laughs> <laughs> there's a laugh. There you go. There's there a you giggle. Go. There you go. There, you, there go. you go. Delivering. So he's basically in charge of keeping things light Cheek. and fluffy. Yeah. Um, Master of lols. <laughs> Master of yeah. Right. I mean, that's probably it. And you, and you caught me when I was really young and impressionable, so. Well, okay, I wanted everyone to know that it was of legal age. You were, you two were young. 17 and 19. We were That was play on. I think so, is it? Yeah, fucking oath it is. Certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll consult the fucking... Yeah, that, we'll that, that passes the, the seven and a half rule. Yeah, that does. I think we're good there, thank God. Yeah, okay. Um, but I did catch her. She was caught. Yeah. Well, you lost it um, temporarily. But yes, that's true. She's I dumb. don't mean to cut this short, but I'm actually on a work call. So, <laughs> Morgan, who's in my team, has just been uh, listening to this on team. Oh, well, that's good. Shout yeah. out to everyone at work. Um, yeah. And I guess I'll see you later. Okay, bye. There you go. So, I'm fucking a master of lols. <laughs> <laughs> good yep, stuff. Yep. That's at least. I love I'll, I'll her honesty. Well, listen. I'm happy to know that now that's all I got to be in. That's all I got to do. Just keep bringing the lols at home. Mm. Keeping it light and fluffy whilst also light. being heavy. Yes, whilst being physically heavy. Hey, boys. Long time listener. First time caller. Cute. Long time dick sucker. <laughs> okay. Good for you. Love man. the potty. Um, me and my z- zesty mate, king for the jumpers. Um... What else did we... What else did we... Um, oh, yeah. Pa- coming off the free phone, the Telstra free phone, free, Telstra free phone. Um, um, yeah, keen for the jumpers. Manly 13 okay. plus, as always. Sure. Yep. Year of the bird. Yep. Obviously. Tommy, I'm, I'm very happy that you boys went to... America with Tommy Turbo to help him through his recovery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, fucking. Aggressive hang up. What a, what a great call. 
What a... <laughs> What a really... Was he calling off a Telstra free phone? Yeah, he was. I... I don't know what to make of that. I'm today, I think it was... I mean, it was weird. It was fucking weird. It was but it was also sort of nice. No, look, it was... I mean, it was lovely. I don't know. I mean, sure. You know what I mean? Sure. I think that was almost a second-hand dribble. Like, someone was feeding him... Someone was feeding well, him. Yeah. Like a... Like a like a bird feeds its... Young. Its chick. <laughs> There's a um, bit of that. There were, yeah. He's, he certainly didn't know what he was saying. No. He's been prompted for every line. Um, could, he, could that have been a hostage situation? <laughs> well, there was no demands, Tom. So I don't That's know why you'd bother making the call. That's a good point. Uh, excited for the jumpers. So are we. Yeah. Not far away. No. Um, I'll be with you next week. I'll, I think we'll take the rest of it as a comment. Yeah, I think so. I, think I don't so. think there was much to it. No. Other than his love for Sharp, which... We Obviously celebrate we support here. and celebrate. Absolutely. Fuck. Fuck. It's Scooter. I'm not dead. It's Scooter. Sleep Dripper locked me up in his fucking basement. He hasn't come back for a year. I'm going to be under Nokia 3310. Send help. I've got 1G. If on. anyone can help me, it's the Hello Sport Boys. For those playing catch up, that was Scooter, who sl- was Sleep Dribbler's nemesis. Well, no, Scooter was uh, S- Sleep Dribbler. We thought killed Scooter, but who was Scooter to Sleep Dribbler? Well, he was certainly someone an, uh, a nemesis of sorts. <laughs> I think he trade. was a nemesis. Yeah. Was he? I would love a dribbler to go back through all of our old podcasts, or maybe someone who works for us. And I'm looking over my shoulder, Toblot Dave, and find the exact episodes where all of Sleep Dribbler's. Uh, appearances were and we put them together so that people who are newer could get a clear picture of the, the, the history of sleep dribbler because that's a dark turn. Good to know Scooter hasn't been killed but he has been in a basement for Scooter a lives. Of time. Scooter lives. Scooter lives. Scooter does live. He was killed by, we thought, as you said earlier by sleep dribbler some, probably a year ago. Mm. So he's been under Maybe longer than a year. I Maybe longer. It wouldn't surprise me if Scooter's lost track of time. It would be good to get the Sleep Dribbler files together, <laughs> stitch them into one neat little package, and then release it. Even if a, a Dribbler knows every episode that he's in, you can tell us that, and then we can get one of these dick holes. Someone has done it do before. It. We'll so I'm talking again. to you specifically. Yeah, to whoever, whoever you, you are. were. Ah, do it again. Go the big lift. Go the big lift. Um, he's a fucking weird cunt. Sleep dribbler? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Scooter seems pretty weird himself. The, it's the whole thing. The strange. whole thing's bizarre. Shout out to the Tasty Boys, I miss you. The Tasty Boys. I wonder what Fumes is doing. Ghosty. Guava Ghosty. lover. Who was that other cunt that everyone forgot every time? And he got the shits about it. Who was it? Ghosty. Guava lover. Fumes. Was there one other? And he was always, he would always he'd get angry because he was well, never Well, one of them, one of the Tasty Boys got us our Manly Seagulls uh, golf bags. He's a bad green member. Did he come to the lunch? No. Dog? Yeah. What a dog. What a dog. If you didn't come last year, you're a fucking dog. Know that. And also know that it wasn't our fault that Ned Brockman didn't come. It was Tobler's. And actually, we want to, We need to make it up to Ned, though. Tobler's fuck up. We need to make it up to Ned. Um, and I'd like to take him to dinner. Yeah, same. I want a wine. I want a I want dine. A wine and and dine I want a 69. Let's that get, man. like, black tied up. I think we get really hot and get a limo. Get a limo. Stretch. Yeah, black. Hummer. Or Hummer, probably classy. Probably a pink Hummer. get a classy one. Like a pink stretch Hummer. Yep, Yep. classy. Uh, Black tie. Yep. You, me, Ned. Yep. Tobler, but he has to eat like a packed lunch of shit and just like sort of document it. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't get to eat. Dave may even not eat at all. No, well, Dave might drive the limo. Oh, he's got a bit of fucking valet about him. We put a fucking limo hat on him. Fucking oath. 
Now, I don't know if a limo company is going to let me or let us. Let you can buy them pretty cheap online. We were looking at a limo. Yeah, we were. We just didn't have any to store it. Which is... That means you can pick one up for fuck all. Dude, there was like one for five grand. <laughs> Wasn't it less? Wasn't it two? It might have been. I think it needed work. Oh. That was the only problem. I would buy a limo. Yeah, same. It'd be pretty funny and dribbly. Or It'd very. be fucking funny and fucking dribbly. And we just... Anytime we go anywhere, we just get Dave to drive us. Yeah, like anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, reach out if you're selling limos. Yeah, cheap fucking ones. oath. Cheap ones. Um, anyway, I've completely Ned and utterly Brockman, lost we're my train of We're taking you to dinner. We're oh, taking Ned, Ned to dinner if he will accept this rose. We got to, uh, you know, we can't assume he's going to. If, do if it, you want to accept the rose, let us know. And I'm guessing you're probably looking to go get a schnitzel because he loves them. He's he loves. Great. He does. But we want like high end. No high end. High end. Schnitzies. Ritzy schnitzy. Richie. <laughs> Ritzy <laughs> schnitzy. Yeah. Double jeezy. Yeah. Double graves. Chalky milk. I think he loves chalky milk. I'd even, mm. I'd even, I'd even go a triple if we're getting Richie Schnitzy. What do you mean? A tri- oh, triple grave. Mm. Yeah, dude. drown that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to wine and dine this this man. Um, make amends. Yeah, we need to make amends. And Toblin needs to Toblin get on needs his knees to repent. and anyway, fucking well, doing godly things to say yeah, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here okay. we go. Okay. Tom, Eddie, Dior, and Tobler. This is a schlong dribbler. Long time listener, long time <laughs> caller. Boys, just want to take you back to our childhood. Tom and Eddie, I'm about the same age as you fellas. And just want to talk about how tough it was for our generation to follow rugby league as a young fella. Back in our days, we had one game on Channel 9 on a Friday night and one game on Channel 9 on a Sunday. Now, this was sort of prior to the fucking internet or the internet had just come out. Unless you were a real rich cunt, you didn't have the internet. Um, yeah, we got a pretty light. And prior to sort of Foxtel and, and KO and all Sorry. that sort of stuff, unless you were a real rich cunt, you didn't have that stuff. So for the average fucking young fella, you watch one game on a Friday night, one game on a Sunday. Now, I grew up in the country, boys, and Same. back in the day, I don't know if it still happens now, when you're sort of free-to-air TV, you got your news, your local news at about 6 o'clock, and where I was from, we didn't have the news on the weekend. So if your team wasn't on the Friday night game and your team played on the Saturday or something like that, you wouldn't fucking find out how your team went until the Sunday afternoon game where they sort of went through all the scores. <laughs> now, still back in the day, the Brisbane Broncos got every Friday night game still. So the four cunts that followed the Raiders and the Warriors would never, ever fucking see their team play. <laughs> These cunts these days don't know how lucky they've got it. Hey, boys. That's a great fucking dribble. That is a great dribble. That's a great bit of history. See, I actually don't even really remember. Like, as in, I remember watching footy Friday night. Like, sit down with the old man, my brother, dad's friends would come around. We'd watch Friday night footy. Like, that was the thing we used to do every fucking Friday. I remember the the ladder and the results being way bigger on the news. I remember that's like, that's clicking in my brain. Yeah. We used to get the we used to get the local news at six, and then the and national news at six thirty. Six thirty, yeah, yeah, is my memory of it. Uh, like win, prime, win, prime, we'll, yeah, win or prime. You'd get ten was just ten. I, I think. tell you what was great. Read uh, so the local news sports coverage. It's just like oh, yeah. footage down at Group Eleven and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, just yeah, that's good, good stuff. Honest the Barrel stuff. Blacks had a win over Shoalhaven on the weekend. Yeah, You're like, oh yeah. fuck yeah, they did. Go yeah. on, boys. Yeah. Um, in a topsy turvy encounter. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just some guy down there, like some random local journo. I uh, great dribble. Though. I like that dribble. I uh, like that, that dribble a lot. I don't know if it was just because I've you would have Fox tell you rich cunt. Yeah, well, I've grown up in the era <laughs> of fucking like live games all the time, except yeah. for maybe one Sunday game that wasn't live. But yeah, I don't know if it's just because I'm too young. But that dribble to me had big like Grandpa Simpson telling a story energy. It, well, he said back in our day a few times. I'm like, yeah. woo up, bro. I mean, even though that is completely true. Uh, did you have Oscar? Yeah, you did. Well, Dad worked for fucking. Dad worked on Fox. So oh, I like, see. We got it. Yeah. Um, as part of his deal, I guess. I see you're a rich cunt. Dad did well, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't think anyone's knowing that. <laughs> yep. But Billy earned it. Fucking oath he Threw weight of runs. Oh, runs on the board. Runs on the board. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid had runs on the board. Kid had runs, bruh. Kid had runs on Raised the board. Raised a bat That's many sure. times. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. On we go. Uh, 
let's move on. Good dribbles today. Yeah, they are. Yeah, what's going on, boys? Uh, just wondering if you'd seen the Powerade tasting video from uh, Kieran Horn. I have. Oh, I have. Granddad fame. If not, um, basically put on an absolute masterclass. Did he? Five just from had five. a bit of an idea. Oh. Potentially uh, see how Kevin Proctor goes on a similar scenario, except bait flavors. I Ooh. imagine he's probably up there in the uh, Dave could probably, you upper echelon. Give me your thoughts, boys. That. I mean, it's obviously a Kiwi accent, but that guy also sounded like the guy who used to get fuck his missile used to chong him during Bracey's movies. Remember huh? that guy who, when he'd watch Holiday, the Holiday dribble or whatever, and his missus would <laughs> fuck him oh, when like the sex scenes came on because Bracey yeah, was shirtless. Yeah, 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 yeah. She'd get hot and heavy, and he'd yeah. get a root. Yeah. Shout out to that. Shout guy. out to that guy. I miss that guy. Same. He was. Was he getting wristies? Is he getting roots? I, I think it remember. was started as wristies, and then and then I think he, he worked, worked his worked, way up. Yeah, well, he started to fucking the car watch holiday like fifty times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every night he'd put it on. Shout out to him. Um, and so, 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 Papa. So Foran, basically, Papa. I saw this in punters and dribblers, but it was like weeks old. So Grandpa Foran got eight, seen five it. from five. He got five from five. Yeah. Do you have the video? Yeah, is that up there? No, nah. no. Nah. Hang on. Goes Chrome tab casting. It says. Goes for a little while, but we can oh, watch really? it because it's good. It's okay. like a minute and a oh, minute and oh, half. Minute oh, yeah. Is that there now? Yep. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you're on sound there. We up. Guess the Powerade challenge. I hate that voice. Same. Yeah. Gives me fucking. Yep. I reckon that's blue. <laughs> Pop. Red. Oh my god. <laughs> Pop, he's so so sweet. Yeah, he is. Grandparents are. That's yellow. <laughs> yeah. Yellow's Dude. the easiest. I reckon red's the easiest. Nah, purple's gotta be. <laughs> Feel like I'm a master shave. Oh, that's trying to spin over the works. What flavours did you say there was? Colours? Hang on. That's purple. Mm. Where's orange? Ah. Oh. I reckon that's orange. Fucking pop. Pop's great. I said blue. Red. I said yellow. Orange. Purple. He's good. Yeah. Pop's very good. Pop, yes, Pop. Well done, Pop. Have you noticed all the NRL pages are doing, like, with their players, they're doing, like, fun, weird, gamey shit on their social media. Like, the Parramatta Eels were trying to roll a dollar coin into a fork I saw the other day. Um, the Bunnies were doing some shit with a magician. Like, they're all doing weird, fucking quirky preseason shit. I'm not against it either, by the way. I was just more making a point, noticing it. But I love the fucking... Grandpa Foran just nailed that, and that—that's what happens when you're a grandpa. You're seen winners. Well, he's—he's well, he's also he's seen winners, Tom, but he's also got a mature palate. Yes, he does. He's got a mature palate. Yeah, and the kid knows his power aids. Well, the, the pop knows his power aids. Pop. pop knows. He's, what under he's pop? Still technically a kid though. Shout out to him. Like that movie. It, oh, that it's, that video makes you feel nice. If you listen to this on podcast, go check out the YouTube just yeah. to watch that because it it'll make you feel. It'll nice. It'll make you feel nice, and I fucking love Kieran Foran. Obviously, I hate him in a rugby league context. He's not with Manly anymore. He's dead to us. But he's dead to us, but I love him. That's right. I want a cuddle from Pop. Same. There's, nothing, there's nothing like getting a, cu a cuddle from your grandparents. There just isn't. I want a cuddle from Pop. Yeah, same. Sit on his knee. <laughs> Knees. Knee yeah, edge. Well, wait, yeah, it's true, knee edge. All right, last dribble. Great T-shirt, that. Yeah, punters and dribblers, Tom Eddie, Dior, no, last the piss stain dribbler here. Ooh. First time caller, I've got a question for you guys. Um, what's the most common lie ever told globally? What's what's the most common lie? Like In my opinion, question. it's when you are you come out of the toilets at like a pub or something, and your mate your mate points out a little wet patch, like a little like a little wet patch on your shorts or your pants, and um. And you go, oh, it's just it's just splashback from when I was washing my hands. We all know it's piss. We don't have to lie. 
we all do it. It's just a bit of dribble. Mm. Anyway, boys, love the potty. Love you guys. Sharky 13 plus. Cheers. Love you too, bro. Can I say just quickly a piss stain story that I had recently? Sure. And recently. It, it was embarrassing. I was severely dehydrated. And I wasn't wearing underpants. And I was wearing white shorts. And I did a piss at home. And then did my usual shake and bake afterwards to try and, you know, de-drib the dong, but didn't do a good enough job. And I just had, like, the brightest yellow fucking stain on these white pants you have ever seen. I was like, usually you get a bit of a wet patch, as this guy said, and you're like... Sure. You must have been dehydrated. <laughs> but, like, the white pants made it even worse. I was oh, like, of course oh, my God, I need a drink of water. It's the perfect fabric to illuminate that yeah. sort of stain. It's like pissing in snow. But you don't see a whole lot of that. It's the first time it's ever happened in my yeah. life. Yeah. And you're almost 40, so that's saying that's, something. Well, you look 40, so fuck you. Um, anyway, great, biggest, most liars. I would, say, I would say that it would be in and around this world where I'll be there in five and you're not, you're not there You haven't even five. left. No, you haven't, yeah, even left. you haven't even left. That's it. I'm on my way. Time-based porkies have to be the the, the, the most common of porky pies. Dude, time-based porkies. I'll be no honest. one ever tells the fucking truth when it comes to time. Ever. Like, you know you're not two minutes away. You fucking know it. Yeah. You know you're 15 yeah. and change. Yeah. But you say two. I have that in me sometimes, and so do you. Fucking hope I do. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is. I can't help it. It's like I've got a sickness. Yeah, where it's like I know I'm not five minutes away, but I'll say yeah, it. Yeah, but also like I that where it's like I've got to leave to go and do something, and I just don't get up, and I'm like, yeah, we got to go. Yeah, sweet. I'll go in a second. It's like and you book an Uber, and it's like, oh, the Uber's gonna take 15 minutes to get here, and you're meant to have left five minutes ago. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You do. You, Traffic's fucked. You do that more than I do. Well, you li- you're late to shit. Yeah, but usually I've got it like because you don't give excuse. yourself enough. You don't give yourself a nice buffer. No, I don't have good planning around that. So no. then once I fuck up the planning, and then I find myself in this. You're well intentioned. Yes, you just fuck it every time. I fuck it. Not every time. But no, not every time. But I certainly have fuck it in me. <laughs> and then I'll lie to you about how far away I am. Yeah. But now I think I'm a little more honest. Like even today, like when Tobler was like, "We'll start this at nine. I go, "Bro, we ain't starting this at nine. Tell you that for fucking free. Well, there was, well, yeah, but even, that would be an outrageous lie, given that you were dropping Evie at night. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> that would have been a lie. That would, that would have, have been. been a lie. That's not a common lie, lying that great. No, 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 that's just a fucking... That's just a bold face. lie. That's just a bold face lie, yeah. flat out. Yeah. Unapologetic. Anything else? Liking someone's cooking? I guess that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, but like, that's not. How often are you going around to someone's house and having it? It doesn't, no, it's not common enough. No, it's not enough. common enough. You're right. You're, it needs to be a daily I lie. think time based porkies. Yeah. Because they're daily. Yeah, they are. Everyone. So, oh, oh, the, what's the fucking, like, the work one? Sorry for the delayed response. I feel like I start 90% of my emails with that. Yeah. Yeah, flat out this week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you just saw it and ignored it. <laughs> or, d- dude, there's something where. They were saying, because I'm also bad at text message, like getting back to people. Same. you got to do it mm. when you yeah, get it. Otherwise, like a, you're fucked. You know, like the first 48 in terms of when people are missing, it's like if you don't find or get on the fucking trail in the first 48 chance to find the Pick people. Pick up the scent. Really low. Yep. Apparently, it's like if you don't reply to the text message, like as you see it, the chances of you ever replying just fall off a fucking cliff. I am so guilty of that. And I'm armed with that information. I know mm. that if I don't reply there and then, and this is like outside of Ella. Like, I can always pick up and message with Ella eventually. Yes. But someone else, a random, no fucking shot. Yeah. And I know that. Mm. And yet I still, and you still do, it. do exactly what I've always done, which is... I'll, I'll, get, get, to that. To, I'll get to that later. Yeah. I wish in iPhone, and maybe you can do this and I don't know, but if I read something and then I go, I actually want it to stay... Like in emails, like I want it to be set, look unread. So I can go, oh, I've actually still got to get back. Well, you can make emails unread. I've showed yes. you, I showed you that recently, That's what I mean. which was like groundbreaking. To the it was. Time. I do it all the time now, dude. <laughs> he goes, how the fuck you do that? <laughs> I go, Because I kept thinking you weren't opening. unread button, I kept bruh. thinking you weren't opening emails. I'm like, can't this thing have been sitting here fucking days? How? And you're like, yeah, dude, I just put it as unread so I can get back to it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Didn't you know can, can do, do that, that on your phone. Can you? If you hold I'm down sure the message, can. it'll come up with an option: pin, markers unread, or hide alerts. Yeah. So just mark. So it you as can unread. pin shit to the top. Oh yeah. yeah, dude, that's great. You can do the same on WhatsApp as well. It's not hard. You can what? You can make it on WhatsApp. I don't know about pinning. You can definitely. No, make no, it I unread. don't care about pinning. You can also do it on inboxes. 
It would be quite a basic feature of most I know inboxes. You can mark, you can flag, but you can't. No, you can unread. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this, has changed, this has changed a lot for me right now. That's life changing. Dude, that is life changing. I didn't know you could do it on iPhone. That's changed my no, life. No, that's I'm a lot. I'm going to start pinning shit. Yeah, I'm pinning I bet you I don't. But, <laughs> yeah, but like, the intention's I good. To, I intend to the pin. The intention's what's, what's important, Eddie. My, pin this date. Pin In this. In the history of my life. Yeah. I now know that I can pin. What I do with that information is up to me. Yeah, it is. It's on you now, buddy. Yeah, it's on me. You go out in that brave new world. And I fucking pin, bro. You pin your fucking heart out. You fucking, there'll be pinners out there. Yeah. Oh, there's pinners all over the place, mate. It's peggers, there's pinners. There's pinners, peggers, poppers. I don't know what that is, though. You know what I mean? Pop, what were they? Pop stuff. That's pop pimples. Great. Oh, dude. People like pop, pop dude, pimples. Dude, I don't get that. Ne- I don't get that. Well, because well, you're not a popper. Fuck no, I'm not a popper. But there's poppers out there. Poppers everywhere. Dude, but like, how do you? Like, do you know? Do you get what I'm saying? I think Are it's you a more, popper. I'm no, I'm not you, a big Tom. popper. I'm with you. I think it's fucking it. disgusting. Can I? I'm going to blanket call it here. Women like popping. Yeah. Women are poppers. No, they, like, they are. They I seem mean, to. Know, they seem to on the whole like popping. I look. I'm not a big fucking acne guy. Thankfully. There, but for the grace of God, go I in the acne game. Not big on it, but like, so I don't really get pimples. Again, sorry. And I've got good hair, sorry. <laughs> but Jarchi Jarch, <laughs> was saying, or Steph, Jarchi Steph was saying that she likes to pop Jarchi's pimples when he gets them. And I'm like, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. That's like the worst fucking thing. I could, that's like a fucking punishment. Mm. Oh, you're, 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 you're resigned to an eternity in hell. You know what you're going to be doing? Popping people's pimples. I wonder if that's like a fucking harken back to when we were just sitting around. Like monkeys picking nits off each other. Like grooming each other. Well, maybe, you know, the women are picking berries and shit and they're like fucking weaving baskets and, and popping pimples. I Dude, don't know. Dude, it's so gross. It actually makes me feel sick. And there's like the fucking, there's an Instagram, isn't it Dr. Pimple Popper or some oh, shit? Yeah, like it's you so bad. Fuck no. I don't want to see that shit. Oh, yeah. People get off on that shit. Dude, what the fuck? People, like, people are fucked if you're into that. People into worse shit than that, bro. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, yeah, sure. Like, I'm, I know there are worse things than that. No, but like weirder but shit than that. Like, you not know, much weirder. Well, we'll think about those bloody shakes. I love getting shit on. I'd prefer to get shit on. I think than have to pop. Fuck off. off! No, you are joking. But they don't like to get pooed on. They Clip like to glass. Up, no, they mate. like to. They like to glass bottom boat. Yeah, I'll glass bottom boat before I pop your pimple. Fair income. I will watch someone take a dump on glass before I have to fucking pop your pimples, dude. Wow. Or put it this way. No. If there was an Instagram page dedicated to the Dr. Pimple Popper or glass bottom boating, I'm watching people shit for (laughs) sure. (laughs) Wow. I don't know about that. I see. cool. You see pooing happen. Pooing's normal, dude. Pooing's every day. It's the angle, bro. Yeah, I know. But you see like animals. You're underneath. You're fucking. You're you're under it. You're right. You're You're staring down, mate. You you don't have to contact it. It's with the pimple ball. If you're popping it yourself, you've got to touch it. You've got to touch it. You've got to be around there. I'm with Tom for the first one, not the second one. I don't know if I'd rather watch someone poo than watch someone pop a pimple. I would, 100%. I don't want to do either, but if I'm fucking... Let us know in the comments. Yeah, do you, would you prefer to watch someone... Gla- would you prefer to watch glass bottom boating? Or and you're you- under the... You're, no, 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 you're underneath. You're yeah, getting no, shit no, no. on. No, 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 you're not getting shit on. You're you know glass what I mean. Bottom, you know what I mean. Yes. You know what I mean. I do know what you mean. Glass bottom boated. But I'm also saying I'd prefer to be glass bottom boating than to watch or to touch pimples being popped. I don't want to see them done and I don't want to... There be- you have it. Leave your comment, guys. Uh, we'll probably leave it there, I think. I think so. See you later. Yeah, what's the uh, the Dribbler hotline, actually, for oh, if, yep. you wanna, if you want to give a ring? So you'll find in our Instagram bio, punters and dribblers, but the number is also 0281232100. Ciao. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs>